Hello everyone, welcome to GED exam preparation class. I am your host and instructor Ruben Carrera and in this video we're going to learn how to do something that back in the days we used to call this find the missing number and I believe your GED exam now is going to call it find the equal fraction with a, with a given denominator. So this is what we need to do, we just need to find the number that is missing in here. And I have two examples in here. We need to find the number here. We're missing this number here, and we're all, I'm also missing this number here. These are two separate problems, by the way. Okay? There are different ways. There are different ways to solve for this. Back in my days, because, well, I was taught the old school way. You will have to multiply the 3 times the 16 and then divide it by 4, and that will be the number that I'm looking for. And that's the number that I will write here. There's other two different ways to do this. It's by, you know, dividing that big number by the smaller number and doing multiplying that times the 3. Also, another way that you can do this, and this is the way I do it, uh, I, for example, think, okay, so what number do I need to multiply times the 4 to get to 16? Okay, remember, the goal is to look for this number, my friends. So what number do I need to multiply the 4 times to get to 16. So that is the 4 right here because 4 times 4 is equal to 16. I'm going to write my number 4 right here too. Now I'm going to do how much is 4 times 3 or 3 times 4? That's 12 and 12 is the number that will go here my friends. And this my friends you just find the missing number of two equivalent fractions. Let us do this example right here now. Okay, very nice. So I have the 1 over 3 and I'm missing the number right here. Okay, so I'm going to think what number that I, I, I need to multiply times 3 to get to 21. So that will be the number 7. I'm going to write my number 7 right here. Okay, so 7 times 3 is equal to 21. I'm also going to write my number 7 right here at the top. And now 7 times 1 is also equals to 7. So... There you go. So that's the number that I was missing. And that's, my friends, that's how we find the missing number, or that's how we find the number missing or the equivalent fraction with a given denominator. Thank you very much. I hope that you liked this video, and I will see you guys in the next class. Thank you and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.